Welcome. In this video we will demonstrate how to import values from an Aspen input file into an MKS knowledge base. We will be using Cranium for this demonstration. The same capabilities are available in Synapse. We recommend completing the following prerequisite courses. Course 1, Basic and Common Operations, and Course 3, Estimating Chemical Properties. These two courses will give you a good understanding to follow the activities we will be doing in this demonstration. Both of these courses can be found on the MKS website, specifically on our library page. Now Aspen is a powerful process simulation software package, and like all process simulators, Aspen often requires additional physical property values to perform its analyses. These physical property values are stored in Aspen input files. And in this lecture, we will show how Cranium and Synapse can be used to parse and import these physical property values. We'll cover four main topics. We'll talk about managing knowledge bases, importing physical property data, editing physical properties, and estimating physical properties. Now, an Aspen input file is a keyword-based text file that contains information on process parameters, equipment specifications, and physical properties. As shown here, the part of the file that contains physical property data can contain data on constant properties, on temperature dependent properties, or on estimation technique parameters. Now an example Aspen input file can be downloaded from the library page of our website. Or you can use your own Aspen input file if you have one available. We first recommend importing values from an Aspen input file into an MKS template knowledge base. This gives you the opportunity to view the data, verify its accuracy, and only then decide to import it into your core knowledge base. Now an MKS template knowledge base is often used as the starting point for creating new knowledge bases. In this demonstration, we will be using the MKS GER template knowledge base. This knowledge base contains information on groups, elements, and references. It does not contain any chemicals, mixtures, or estimation techniques. The MKS GER template knowledge base is included with the latest releases of both Cranium and Synapse. In addition, the latest version can be downloaded from the MKS document section of our website's library page. Once we download the template knowledge base, we will create a working copy. To create a working copy, we'll use the save a copy command from the file menu, give the new file a new name, and then change the document's titles and description as we desire. Again, we will import values into this knowledge base for verification, and only once the values have been verified, then we will import them into our core knowledge bases. Importing the physical properties values is actually quite easy. We will select the import values command from the file menu. We will then select the Aspen input file format and press the dialog's import button. The Aspen input values dialog will be activated. The dialog gives us various options for selecting a source file, for selecting chemicals, for selecting estimation techniques, and which properties we wish to import. We'll select properties of chemicals and properties of estimation techniques and import those into our template knowledge base and then we will review the various physical properties that have been imported. So with that I'm going to switch to Cranium and proceed with the demonstration. We will be using Cranium version 4.0 core version 317. The demonstration version or reader version of Cranium 4.0 is now available for download from our website. As a first step, we will download the GER template from the Molecular Knowledge Systems website. Molecular Knowledge website is at www.molecularknowledge.com. From the home page, simply change to the library page. Scroll to the MKS documents section and look for the MKS GER template knowledge base. Click on the link to download the knowledge base or click the right mouse button to select the location to save. Now from Cranium, 
we can open up this downloaded knowledge base. As we said before, it's very good to create a working copy of this template knowledge base. We'll call this new file our Aspen knowledge base. Open the copy and close the original. And then edit the document's titles. and save. Now the template knowledge base contains groups, elements, and references. It does not contain any chemicals, mixtures, or estimation techniques. From the file menu select the import values command. Cranium displays the import data dialog. Make sure the Aspen input file format is selected and press the import button. Cranium activates the Input Values dialog. Press the Browse button and select an Aspen input file as our source. Cranium will parse the information, the chemicals, properties, estimation technique parameters, the information contained in the input file, and display it in the Input Values dialog. For demonstration purposes, if you do not have an Aspen input file handy, you can download one from our website. The values dialog gives you the ability to select various chemicals and various physical properties. For this demonstration, we are going to select all chemicals and all properties. In addition, we will change the entity type to technique. These are the estimation techniques that have parameters in the selected input file. We will select all the techniques and all the properties associated with them. The import options we can leave for now as add source values and very simply just press the dialogs import button. Cranium will now transfer the information found in the input file into our current knowledge base. As we see here 12 estimation techniques have been read from the input file and created now in our knowledge base. If we scroll further down, we can see the list of parameters that have been read from the Aspen input file. In addition, we have seven chemicals that have been read from the input file, their physical properties are shown here properties such as melting point, boiling point, dipole moment, critical properties, enthalpy of fusion, enthalpy of vaporization. In fact, to see the list of properties that have been imported, we can go to the commands menu and click on show valued properties. These are the physical properties for the current chemical that were found in the Aspen input file. As we said before, importing these values into a template knowledge base gives us the opportunity to examine and verify the quality of the data that was in the input file. Only after these have been verified should we import them into our core knowledge base. We can also test out the parameters that were found in the input file. In this case we have C7H8. If we scroll to the temperature dependent section and we click on our property control and change to liquid density estimates. We can now input state variables to generate liquid density estimates. Click the left mouse button on the table control. Click and hold and drag the left mouse button to select a series of rows. Press the series button, enter a starting temperature and an ending temperature. Press OK and press Save. Cranium has now generated a series of temperatures at which we can estimate the liquid density. 
click the right mouse button and select the Compute Estimates command. Press Start and we see Cranium has used the newly created estimation technique with the imported parameter values to estimate the liquid density at our given temperatures. Press Save and we can see the density estimates as a function of temperature. Once we have verified all the physical properties that have been imported, we can then feel confident to import these values further into our core knowledge base. A very simple way of doing that is to close our imported values knowledge base and open our core knowledge base. This is our MKS internal knowledge base. We can perform the same tasks now. Go to the File menu, Import Values, select the Aspen Input File Format, and press Import. We can open the same input file and now we can import the chemicals and their physical properties and the estimation technique parameters knowing that these are good quality data. One additional task we may do is the input file may use different names for the chemicals than we have in our core knowledge base. Pressing the rename button gives us the opportunity to specify new names for those names found in the input file. Simply we would click on a name and press the edit button. This is the original name found in the input file C2H4O2-1 and we can enter a new name for that. We can also use the Find button to see if Cranium has a recommendation. In this case, looking through the synonyms in our core knowledge base, it found that C2H4O2-1 is a synonym for acetic acid. If we save that, and press OK, we will see that in this way we can rename the chemicals found in the input file to match the names in our core knowledge base. In addition, we should change the import options from adding source values to merging source values. In this way, if there are values in both the input file and our core knowledge bases, Cranium will figure out how to appropriately merge those values together. This concludes the demonstration of how to import physical property values from an Aspen input file into a Cranium knowledge base. As always, if you have any questions, please contact me by email. And as always, visit our website for additional lectures and additional information on physical properties. Thank you.